What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we got our first impressions review for the mobile game Ace Racer. My friends, this right here, we got a banger on our hands. Ace Racer is a racing mobile game introducing innovative vehicles with ultimate skills. You're going to be experiencing various actual cars from legendary vehicle manufacturers like Porsche and Nissan. And even if you wanna be like Andrew Tate, you can go ahead and own a Bugatti in this game, along with their own custom creations in this game. Each vehicle has its own ultimate skill. Every vehicle has a unique ultimate skill, flash across walls, transform while driving and drift at high speeds. Drag to your heart's content in multiple fascinating tracks around the world from Los Angeles all the way to Shanghai. Collections galore. Let me tell you, you can collect an insane amount of different things. The customization in this game is phenomenal. Everything from the complete customization of your character driver, changing every little tiny detail from male or to female, the hair, the cheekbones, the facial structure, the outfits. There are tons of different outfit unlocks. You can completely dress and customize your driver character however you want. They also have a ton of different cars as well, obviously, because that's the heart and soul of this game, but you can go ahead and customize the cars as well with decals, rims, upgrades. It's pretty much almost feels endless when it comes to the customization in this game. But this isn't one of those like typical racing games. And that was one of the things that really took me by surprise was a lot of racing games to me are boring. I really don't like the racing genre. And this made me completely change how I viewed that type of racing style of games because it doesn't feel boring at all. It, there's so much like flashiness and bright colors and it's focused on a lot of like speed and maneuvering and it's very kind of what I would say arcadey. It feels kind of like you're playing in an arcade style, right? It has a lot of action to it. You have your boosts, like your nitro boost, and then you also have an ultimate ability as well. And depending on the car, the ultimate abilities can be pretty insane. The game is a ton of fun, one that really surprised me. When you go ahead and you first jump into it, you do have a lot of tutorials to go through, which can kind of hinder the aspect of jumping in and kind of getting you ready because it does take a while because there's a lot to this game, a lot of depth and a lot of learning. But once you do go ahead and learn everything, it is a absolute blast. You do have some different things that you may or may not like in this game. One of the biggest ones is being that this game features a gotcha system. So they actually made this game based on summoning four cars. The way they went ahead and did it is the cars have different types. And depending on that type, some are really good in certain aspects when it comes to team racing. This game actually features a really cool game mode and it's team racing. So you actually have other like live PVP players that you can kind of team up with and you wanna have different cars involved. So not everyone should have like a super fast car because you want wanna have some people that have like supporting cars. That way you can go ahead and boost other people's ultimate skills. The whole idea of like an RPG gotcha system for like hero collecting and they implemented it with the idea of it being cars. So you're summoning for cars, the cars have different types and styles to them, different power-ups. It's a lot of fun. The game has a ton of events going on. You have your rookie program for new players. We're gonna give you resources so that you can go ahead and power up and upgrade your cars so that way you can unlock like new nitros, which is one thing that I thought was really cool is as you go ahead and upgrade your cars, you get access to different types of nitros. So originally you'll have just like one nitro. It'll have a certain weight to it. It'll be good for just straight lanes. So when you have just like a straight lane going, you'll just pop it so that way you can get that quick speed boost. But then there's others that'll give you multiple nitros, but at slower boosts. So those ones are kind of good for when you're kind of maneuvering around corners because it just gives you kind of like a few seconds of quick speed and then it stops, but you have multiples of them. So there's a lot of different aspects to this game that are really, really fun. When it comes to monetization, the game has a bajillion different ways for you to spend money. Money. You can do some serious, serious damage with your wallets in this game. Uh, everything from battle passes to 
uh, regular packs, buying packs for summoning tokens so that you can use those at the gotcha system. They have their premium currency you can buy. Also cosmetics as well that you can buy. So it's kind of a, a mixture of like, all right, there's pay to win aspects because you can spend money and get extra boosts and better cars than other people. There are ways to spend money on cosmetics as well. So it's kind of a balance of, you know, it's, it's in between, it's tough. Overall, I gotta give it like a nine out of 10. I think this is absolutely phenomenal and it makes you actually enjoy racing games. As one of the biggest things is like, if you don't like racing games, this will completely change your mind. I 100% guarantee you. Control style can be a bit annoying. The other big, big elephant in the room that I have to mention is the fact that this game actually has auto drive. So you don't even have to control the vehicle at all. You can kind of go into a race and there is an auto button and you just click that auto button and the game literally controls and drives the vehicle and you're just watching it. So it's, it's like, I know one big thing is people absolutely hate auto combat. This game has auto drive. You don't even have to drive, but I highly recommend you honestly don't even use it because I used it a few times and it is god awful i mean it is the, the auto drive is so bad playing it on your own even blindfolded you could do better than what the auto drive does but really it's definitely a lot more fun and engaging to actually just race it yourself instead of just doing the auto stay happy stay safe i'll see y'all later peace